So we're going to use Wireshark to capture a DHCP release and renew process. So we can see the actual DHCP discover, DHCP um, offer, DHCP request, and the DHCP acknowledgement coming from the server. So on here, we're going to select capture and select interfaces inside of Wireshark. And we're going to use the Marvel Gigabit Ethernet Controller, the Marvel Yukon adapter. This should be the one with the IP address 192.168.10. This is the network that we have connected to our LAN right now. In here, we're going to select Start. And then after we hit Start, we're now going to go to the command line. And you can see that I'm using... DHCP and I have IDP address 192.68.10.125 so I'm going to type ipconfig slash release and then I should be able to type ipconfig slash renew and I will get an IP address so I go back to Wireshark and I hit the stop running live capture and it will stop the capture and now I can scroll through and find the packets that were captured during the DHCP request offer an acknowledgement right here I can see the very first one and, and what you can do is you can prepare filter you can go follow UDP stream so you can see the DHCP discover request actually these are coming from some of the other guys there let's undo that Clear. anyways look for the DHCP protocol underneath the protocol listing if you sort by protocol you'll find it but you want to sort by number because you want to see them in order so this first request if I have it highlighted you can see that my frame identifies the bits that are on the wire this is the layer one layer two of the OSI model is the Ethernet frame my broadcast ID that I sent it to is all F's so that means it's a broadcast layer 2 broadcast address and the source MAC address is 40 colon 53 or F3 so if I minimize that IP it's coming from 000 because I don't have an IP address going to destination 255.255.255.255 which is a broadcast address at layer 3 and you can see that it's a bootstrap protocol, a boot P protocol. So the next one, as you can see, that's DHCP Discover. And if we scroll down, we can actually see. Oh, request your IP address. This is NCS20. This is one of you guys. This is probably Heather's computer. All right? So this is Heather's computer making a request saying, um,. I'm sending out a DHCP message type called DHCP Discover, and I would like to use the IP address 182.68.10.130 because that's what I've been using in the past. The next step is the DHCP offer. And that, if we take a look at it, is coming from source IP address 192.168.10.45. That is our DHCP server sending the DHCP offer and I'm looking at this last part right here under the bootstrap protocol I've expanded so this is the boot reply number two the boot request number one this is coming from the PC the PC is saying I would like to request to use this address here's my information and it gives its MAC address, gives its host name. 
And then the last is the DHP acknowledgement, and we see where this is coming from. This is coming from 192.168.10.45. So there's the process. DHP discover, offer, request, acknowledgement. And we captured everything that happened. So that was Heather's. And I think this one might be mine. Nope, it's not mine. I think we all did it at the same time. There's the one, NCS Instructor. So here's mine. I can actually find mine in here. 